In this video, we're gonna be opening up and checking out the beautiful and shiny new SH Figure Arts Spider-Man figure from No Way Home, and of course, doing a little bit of toy photography with it as well. So, I don't know about you guys, but when this figure was revealed a while back, I was instantly just like, wow, that's a good looking Spider-Man figure. <laughs> like, I'm not even a huge Marvel guy in general. Like, I love Marvel, but I'm not a Marvel guy. But still, even when I saw this, I was like, damn, I need to get this figure. This seems like the Spider-Man figure that I can get and then not need to buy another one ever because this is just like the Spider-Man to me. Like, I love this. Th I love the look of this figure and I cannot wait to open it up. So this right here is the SH Figure Arts Spider-Man from Spider-Man No Way Home. Like the suit he makes at the very end of the movie when he's kind of like starting fresh, like the soft reboot. Spider-Man of the MCU. Feels very classic Spider-Man to me. I love how I can have it as my like MCU Spider-Man figure and just like classic, just a Spider-Man figure. I love that about this thing. And so if you are interested in getting one of these guys, it is in stock right now on Nin Nin Game and I have the link in the description right now. So please, if you need it, got it all in the description right now. But the thing is, since I'm not a huge Marvel guy, I don't have a whole lot of Spider-Man figures in general. So if I'm gonna try and determine if like this is the number one Spider-Man figure for me or just the best Spider-Man figure in general, I'm gonna need your help. So like, if you think this is the number one figure for Spider-Man, let me know. Or if there's something better, like I know Mayfix has a ton of them, obviously tons of Marvel Legends and Figure Arts and Amazing Yamaguchi Spider-Man and Sentinel Spider-Man. There's so many Spider-Man. Let me know which do you think is better or the best. I want to have my quintessential Spider-Man figures. Also in general too, like this might be a figure you may find in person places too. I actually was at the Tamashii Nation store in New York City just the other day and they had plenty of him in stock. Also, I saw him in stock at GameStop too. So check your stores too locally in case uh, you never know. You might be able to find them there and there's nothing better than picking it up in hand at the store. Okay, here's Spidey right out of the box. He looks fantastic. I love the proportions. He looks like a grown man. And, and why is that something I mentioned? I don't know. Whenever I think of Tom Holland's Spider-Man, I still think of like a kid. Spider-Man, even though he's like a grown man, he's probably like 30 years old. So like still seeing this look like, you know, not a kid in a costume looks great. It looks like Spider-Man and I love that a lot. Is that weird for thinking that? I don't know. And man, just seeing the super bright blue and red, they're like almost too vibrant. And man, I love that so much. The colors just look incredible. And the metallic blue against the matte red looks so good. Like everything about it looks so good. Like I'm so happy to have this Spider-Man. It is going to take a lot for me to want to buy another Spider-Man figure after this. <laughs> That's for sure. I love how Tamashi Nations is, they really seem to always be trying to make leaps and steps to making articulation better and better while still looking good. And one of the things they've been doing for a while is this pretty complex, you know, waist groin area where there's like a multiple different things down here. Instantly being able to just do stuff like that. And the fact that you can make a total 90 degree angle that easily, that's not easy to do with a lot of figures. You can keep going without even bending the waist. Like that is so cool and, you know, essential for Spider-Man to be able to be in these crazy, you know, contorted poses. Look, you can even create fetal position spider ball. Pretty cool. The shoulders are something different I don't think I've seen before. So we've got that like butterfly joint here where you can just kind of like, just like boop boop. But it's also like extends more all the way around. Like you can just, look at that. Like, look at that. And I didn't have to twist or turn anything to make that possible. You know, if I wanted to twist like this, and go up even more, I could, but I don't even have to do that to get all the way up there because of these little joints in there. Articulation is, I don't know, can you, what's better than that? Maybe uh, Yamaguchi? I can tell just by looking at the elbows right here. There's a lot of elbow. Ow, they, look at that. Like there's nothing, you can just stick it all the way up there. No limitations with the elbow at all. That's so impressive. I honestly can't imagine a Spider-Man pose you would want that you would not be able to get. <laughs> He's really great. He's really, really good. So Spider-Man does come with a few things, including an extra head. And this head does have some different, more squinty eyes on it. And uh, the head removal process is quite easy because it's got a little peg in there. And then 
Whoa, long neck. There we go. And he does come with several hands. So we've got some fists, open hands, some really wide open hands, some relaxed hands, and of course some web slinging hands as well, which are pretty important. That's great, extra hands. One of the cool things about the hands, if you take one off, and you can put on one of these many web slinging things he's got. He's got a couple that do this exact thing. You can put it on the peg like that, and then put the hand on after, and so you can actually have it so the web, wow, I put the wrong hand on the wrong side. Hang on, there we go. So you can actually have it so the web is right there, slinging right from the wrist, which is a really cool feature. Not something totally new with Spider-Man figures, I believe, right? But still a really cool thing to have. Well, here's a quick comparison to one of the other figure arts Spider-Man that I have. This is the Iron Spider from, uh, like, Infinity War and stuff, and it's a really cool figure, but I'm definitely loving this one a whole lot more already. Uh, just by the proportions, like, you can tell this one's a little bit more thin, this one's more muscular and more adult-looking, I guess, instead of this one looking kind of like a little kid. And there's definitely some of the pluses in the articulation over here, like the, the elbows and the shoulders and stuff, too. And it's a cool figure, but, yeah, this one's definitely better, in my opinion. Actually, now that I have this guy, I'll probably sell this one and I'll put it on the WhatNot app. So if you're interested, if you want to buy this one, I'll, I'll be selling this one. And if you use the link I have in my description, you get like 15 uh, bucks off your first WhatNot purchase. So it's a great app too, definitely recommend. Also here he is compared to a couple Marvel Legends. These are both pretty old Marvel Legends, but they're pretty great old figures for sure, especially this black suit one. Kind of scales up with him, he's a little bit smaller. Typically they are figure arts versus Marvel Legends. You could totally use them together if, if you had to do that in a scene or something, just for a quick comparison. So what do you think? Is this my number one Spidey? Is this the one that I should be holding as my one and only and not thinking about other Spideys? Like, or is there a better one? Is there a Mayfix or something out there that I'm not familiar with that you think is better than this one? To me, this is my Spidey. I don't think I'm like in need of another one. I really like this figure a lot, but I would definitely love to know um, what you guys are thinking for sure. But I, I definitely need to take a toy photo with this guy and have a really fun idea. Uh, I'm gonna go take that shot right now. Let's go. Okay, so I'm back out in the middle of downtown Cohoes at night. I've got Spider-Man set up over here in the same spot I did recently in another video with Batman, but this time we've got a mirror set up and it's gonna hopefully look like he is sitting back on a window or a building or something. Well, let me just show you, let me just show you. So here's Spidey on the mirror. As you can tell, it got a little bit propped up like this. So hopefully I can get that background in there. Here's what it's looking like right now. I still have some a few things I wanna do. Move some lights around to make it look a little bit more realistic. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then see how it looks then. Okay, so I've got a lot going on. I put another uh, loom cube there to get some light from below. It's a loom cube panel mini. This is my loom cube tube light. I have all of these lights and everything I'm using linked in the description of the video. And so I put some little LED Christmas lights up here that are just battery powered. So then they kind of show up on there and it looks kind of cool. I've got these tiny little LED lights that are actually like balloon lights, which are really handy. And I've stuck them to the edge here. So then in the background, it looks like there's some type of, I don't know, marquee lights or something. So the only thing left that I really want to do, spritz a little bit of water on there. So it looks like the rain has been falling or whatever. These are my settings right now. I've got 13th of a second for the shutter speed, F3.5. My ISO is pretty low at 160 because these little lights can do a lot. So let's go and actually take the, the final shot. Nice little interactions of people walking by. Hey there, how's it going? This Jesus thing? No, it's, uh, it's Spider-Man, taking a picture oh. of Spider-Man. <laughs> Doing toy photography in public is not so bad, I swear. All you gotta do is just do it. 
get over the fact that people might give you weird looks potentially. Everyone's just gonna be like genuinely curious and then you get to say, hey, I'm doing this. And after you did that, you have introduced them to toy photography. And, but it is tough, but sometimes you just gotta do it. Still getting set up, but hopefully it'll look cool pretty soon. Hey, you, yeah. Hey, that's the kind of shit you do, huh? Yeah, yeah. Is it your job to do that or you just do it a hobby? Uh, partially, I do, part I do it professionally, but it doesn't pay the bills totally yet. Right. But uh, pretty soon, hopefully, yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> I appreciate it. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Have a great yeah. night. So, do you agree with me when I say that this is like my number one quintessential Spider-Man figure? Or is there another one out there that you think is better? Because I know there's a ton out there. Either way, I think this figure is undeniably just epic in so many ways. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. I've got a ton more action figure reviews just like this coming in the near future. Either way, I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video.